volume of prisms. So what shape do we use to measure volume? The shape that we use to measure volume is always in cubes. So we need cubes to measure volume. And in order to get cubes, what we do is we take an area. So in the diagram below, we have this rectangular area down here. Okay, we're going to take that area and we're going to give it some depth or height. So in this case here, the area we're going to define as a cross-sectional face that is the same as you slice it along the height. Okay, so if we can take slices of this, like a slice of bread, and if each face is the same area, then we can use that as an area for the prism. And then using that area, we're going to give it depth or height and get volume. So in this case here, the area of the face is going to be, we'll just say is length and width. So we'll just say is length times width. The thickness of the prism is going to be h. And so to generalize for the volume, the volume of the prism is going to be length times width times height. So the formula we're going to use is we can use two formulas. One of them is volume is length times width times height, and that's okay. But a better formula and a better way to think about volume is we take a cross-sectional area and we give it some thickness or height. So area times height is going to be what, how we're going to think about volume. That's how we make cubes. We take square areas and we give it thickness to give it volume. 